Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Tech Warrior channel. We will always update interesting information about the most advanced technology used by the military. Recently the US. Air Force announced that the B-1B Bomber Task Force has returned to Guam for multilateral training operations. Earlier this year, for B-1S returned from Anderson where they conducted a multitude of missions. These missions included aerial integration with the Japan Air Self-Defense Force and a hot pit refueling operation with the Royal Australian Air Force. Bomber Task Force deployments and missions provide key assurances and cooperation with joint and partner allies in the region, said Lt. Col. Daniel Mount, 37th Bomb Squadron Director of Operations. The B-1 is an especially capable platform in this region being able to travel large distances and bear significant firepower with precision and standoff munitions. These missions support the 2018 National Defense Strategy objectives of strategic predictability and operational unpredictability. This bomber task force demonstrates continued U.S. commitment to the Pacific, said Colonel Joseph Sheffield, 28th Bomb Wing Commander. Not only does it provide our B-1 aircrew invaluable training opportunities with important allies and partners, but it also signals our nation's unwavering support to them. Bomber Task Force missions enhance readiness for a variety of Air Force career fields, training airmen to respond to any potential crisis or challenge in the Indo-Pacific. These career fields work simultaneously, often across disciplines, to complete the mission. Our maintenance professionals will be responsible for preparing, maintaining, and launching B-1S for long-duration missions across the AOR, said Mount. Lastly, our aircrew will fly and integrate across several multinational exercises to sharpen their warfighting skills specific to the region. We are excited to get started and are thankful to have had a warm welcome with tremendous support and facilities from the Anderson Air Force Base team.